Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for March 20 through 25, 2015. A significant coronal hole formation is rotating into an earth facing position with a geomagnetic storm and also the total solar eclipse and supermoon during this time frame all foreshadow the potential for a 7 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We now look at the important astronomical events for this watch period and on March 19 we have a perigee. Now this will be the moon's third closest approach to the earth for the year and classified as a supermoon. Just 12 hours later we have a total solar eclipse and if that was enough the moon will occult Mars where it will be just one degree of separation and this will be on March 21st. The total solar eclipse will take place on March 20 and the path taken by the moon arcs closely around Iceland which could pose a risk for a continuation in volcanic activity for the Badabunga volcano during the month. Now this activity began way back in August 2014. The solar eclipse of 2015 will have parts of Africa, Asia and Northern Europe will only have a partial glimpse. It's the turn of the Northern Atlantic to bask in over two minutes of daytime darkness. The path of totality is from just below the Greenland Peninsula heading north of the Arctic Circle and of course takes across the Norwegian island of Svavard and also the Faroe Islands for a full two minutes of this total solar eclipse. We're now looking at the important lunar influences that will be taking place during this watch and they are significant not only as a moon in a supermoon aspect with the Earth but we also have four important connections taking place and this will heighten any earthquake potentials felt here on the Earth due to these influences. The moon on March 21st through March 22nd will conjoin Uranus, Mars and Venus and on March 24 the moon will oppose Saturn. It is worth noting the exact moon position at the time of the supermoon could indicate a possible shake, especially over the next few weeks. Now the moon's overhead or longitudinal position could indicate possible locations where this shake may be and we see North America, the Pacific Ocean is also highlighted around the East Pacific Rise and also the Easter Island region. Now one of these regions could receive a significant shake throughout the month of March. Here is a list of the 2015 perigees with the five shaded areas, the times where the moon will be within 360,000 kilometres to the Earth. Now the three closest are considered as supermoons and they are February 19, March 19 and the closest being on September 28. Now focusing our attention in the southern hemisphere of the solar corona and its very large negative polarity coronal hole formation which is the main focus for this earthquake watch. We see over the last 72 hours this very large coronal hole formation CH659 has opened up quite drastically and it does have one or two areas that could be indicative of two earthquakes over 6.5 magnitude during this time frame with the key emphasis being the rear flank or rear quadrant of this coronal hole formation which does emphasise the potential for a shallow event especially over the first three days of this watch period. Now this very large negative polarity coronal hole formation does cover a large region on the solar corona and it will be fairly difficult to isolate specific areas due to the size of this region but I have isolated two areas which are lateral and that would indicate an area around 39 to 44 degrees south latitude which could receive a significant event possibly the 7 magnitude during this watch. Early on March 15 a spectacular eruption took place on the solar corona where a magnetic filament become unstable and erupted violently sending a very strong coronal mass ejection headed Earth's way and we've just had impact on Earth's magnetic field which saw a G4 class geomagnetic storm registered and strong auroras felt at mid to high latitudes here on the Earth. There is a possibility that the coronal mass ejection released from the Sun has disturbed and affected the high speed solar wind stream exiting this strong coronal hole formation. Now the manifestation point therefore could be slightly at a different latitude so that is a concern for this forecast but I do feel at least one strong earthquake will be felt and registered here on the Earth from March 20 through March 25th. We note that solar wind speeds have increased to 700 kilometres a second. This is due to the impact of the coronal mass ejection. Now we should see a rapid decline in solar wind speeds over the next 48 hours and this is when we should see a strong earthquake felt here on the Earth once solar winds drop back under 400 kilometres a second. And now for the earthquake forecast. The number one area of concern is for South America for this watch with the main area of focus being Los Lagos in Chile.
The second area of concern will be just south of Africa towards the Prince Edward Islands region. This will be the second area of concern. There's also a threat for a volcanic eruption in and around this region as well. The third area of concern is for the Australian region, specifically around Tasmania or just offshore. And this does have significant celestial harmonic symmetry with past planetary alignments around 1883 to 1892. We have these same harmonics and planetary alignments occurring over this period as well, which is a concern which could see a shake just offshore Tasmania or the Tasman Sea. And the final area of concern is for the New Zealand region, specifically around the Milford Sound Queenstown regions of the South Island or possibly further north into the Cook Strait. Just taking a quick look at the geodetic crossings, we see that Uranus and Pluto are currently over the South American region and over the Tasman Sea and Tasmania we have Mercury and Neptune and also the Sun has moved across the New Zealand region. It is worth noting that the Australian Pulsation PC3 Index over the last 48 hours have shown very high levels of activity, the highest that I've ever seen registered. Now this foreshadows the potential for a very strong earthquake for the Southern Hemisphere in the coming days, so it's definitely a time frame we all need to watch and monitor. And wrapping up the video, it is worth noting that this current level of high solar activity was forecast ahead of time in the March monthly newsletter available on the SolarWatcher.net website. This forecast was made available with the assistance of Kimberly Stevens. Now for more information on this line of work and research, please visit SolarWatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. The website also features a monthly newsletter which is jam-packed full of information with graphic ephemeris crossing data, the lunar influence and lunar alignments for the month, celestial influences and planetary alignments, extreme orbital orientation analysis, the sun-moon overhead or longitudinal position to determine the volcano and earthquake threats for the month, as well as a section on the New Zealand and Australian monthly earthquake forecast, as well as a solar activity forecast section which highlights key dates of focus for extreme solar activity. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.